It was an exciting finish in Tempe on Thursday night, but maybe it shouldn't have been. The Devils led by as many as 18 points in the second half, but Oregon State stormed back to make it a one-point game inside the final minute. But ASU's players made some big plays down the stretch to seal the victory. I loved that the multiple guys you know, did some really nice things down the stretch. The islands, tip dunks, islands, you know, uh, uh, moving the post and dunk on the baseline one second on the shot clock. And to be able to use that much clock and then score was, was, was a huge uh, play in the game. To, to be able for Lou and Remy to, to secure that loose ball, which was bouncing around after Kamani got cleaned out, and then to... Um, and then for Rob to step up to the line and, and make both in that spot was uh, to, just to keep the margin uh, where it was. It was it was a good feeling. ASU's big victory over the Beavers moves them to three and two in conference, but the team believes they still have a lot of work to do going into a big Saturday night showdown with Oregon. We've showed that in every game that you know we're able to play and we're able to beat any team we want to. It's just if you know it's just when we you know lock down and really focus. Um, and stay consistent. We haven't been consistent throughout this whole year. Um, and I think that is coming, um, but we have to force it to now because season starts now. The Devils have a day to recharge before the Oregon Ducks visit the bank on Saturday night. But for now, in Tempe, Alex Gall reporting for Cronkite Sports.